Another video I did, the, this motor was replaced. And uh, if you ever replace these motors, don't do it like I did. Uh, I have spaghetti here and I made my solder joints in the wire to wire. And I should have just, here's a new motor. You see these, this is the wrong direction motor, but these leads, just leave them the same length and, and solder them off the ESC, the electronic speed control, which is this board right here. I don't know, there, that board right there. Uh, and what happened was my motor wasn't going fast enough when it was full throttle. And uh, I thought it was the motor because the motor, even when you spun it, it didn't sound quite right. So I changed the motor and then it still didn't have enough speed. I tested it. Uh, and then I checked for the voltages across the red and the black wire of this motor and compared it to the other three, which were all working fine. And the motor at full throttle uh, went from 3.4 volts AC to 5, 5 point something volts AC. So the bad one just stayed at 3.4 volts. So I'm going to change, I think it's this uh, electronic speed control board. Uh, this video is of changing this board out. So what you have to do is you have, have to take apart the, the plane and I'm going to have to unsolder a point with my soldering iron. This red wire, that black wire that goes to the board, unplug this uh, controlling piece and unsolder the motor and resolder the motor. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm trying to unplug this controlling piece. There's a little black piece of stuff here. So I'm going to unplug this very gently. Looking at the new one, it looks like you press down on this part here. And that's what you do. I don't know if you can see, but here's the piece and it's right here. This is a little latch right in there. So you have to press down on the back of it there and then it pulls out. Now it's just unsoldering the red wire and the black wire. So we'll just do that. Hopefully. Okay, the red wire is done. Okay, did the black wire the same as the red wire and that's off. So now all I got to do is unsolder these. Before I uh, unsolder the new, the old one, I decided to, uh, to put the old one to the side and take the new one and solder the red and wire, black wires in while I remembered which one was red and which one was black. Okay, so I decided to do uh, solder on the red wire and then the black wire. I'm all set up to do the red wire. And uh, where's my solder? I might not need it. Just use the solder that's there. And need all those pliers. And I've got my third hand here. Hopefully that'll be enough. Cold joint. That's good. Now the black wire.
Okay. So I've got my red and my, my black wire soldered uh, for my new one. So I wouldn't forget. But even if you do forget on the board, on the, on the, I don't know what they call this main board, but this is, it has a plus sign and this is a negative sign. So the blacks, you can see on the others, plus and minus and black on the minus and red on the plus. So, and then I'll unsolder these wires. Notice red, yellow, black. So it would be here, uh, red, yellow, black. I'm going to just do the first, first one here. Come right off. Second one. Come right off. Third one. Come right off. I'm set up to solder the first yellow wire. Now, a couple of things. Well, one thing. See, I don't know, I think you can see here, this is a capacitor on the electronic speed control, the ESC. This has to be up. Uh, my wires actually, I almost soldered it to the bottom side of this, but that would have been wrong. So make sure this is up as you start to solder. The yellow wire is the middle one, that's the one I'm starting with. Next, the black wire. Thirdly, the red wire. Oh. <laughs> this is not cooperating as well as the others. That's better. Inspecting my solder joints. I think we're good. Okay, so now I just got this little wire to plug in here. Like so. And that is just a push in. That's in, and then I'll stuff this in and put it all back together.